Right, welcome back. This is going to be part two of the bash plate. I don't want to make this too many because it's really this is just whistling up a bash plate um, that looks the part for a rat bike, so it's not long winded. Come and have a look. Today's little task, hopefully, I might even finish this today. It's just where these corners are, they're too low and they stick out too much. I've got a trim there, that was always <laughs> planned. Just done that straight. Otherwise, so you can't get off your bike. Can't get off it. Stand up against a wall, couldn't you? <laughs> right, so today's task is kind of cutting in here cutting in, making a triangle in there so that I can come in about two inches and knock that corner off so it gives the bike a lean angle, which I like. I do like lean angles. I like to be able to get the bike decked right over in bends, so I don't want any of this to impede what we're doing. So today, trim that out of the way. This is kind of fine tuning it and then just weld up the last little bit. Let's get stuck in. All right. Let's come in about an inch. Down there, that will give me plenty of room for the stand and standing. Put your feet down, let me wipe them out of the way.
test, eh, Ben? See if it fits after it's unloaded. And whether or not... <laughs> it's all twisted. All the way it's twisted it up. Yeah, look at that. Straight into its bolt holes, look at that. Sa, still square. Still straight. Straight and true, baby. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. It's like silver foil. Wrap <laughs> right around your body. Yeah, I wish it was as easy as silver foil to work on. Right, there we are. Bare metal for now. Fitted. It's okay, it's workable now. It's not finished, I've just made a space for the side stand because I don't have a main stand anymore. So that works okay. A um, few little things, trimming off edges, rounding the corners. Uh, I might just chamfer that edge, I don't know. Just a little bit more thought. A few of you said holes. Yes, I will be boring holes in it, but not big round holes with mesh. It's a rat bike, I'm not interested in that really. Certainly to let the water out though. So drain holes, yes, definitely, because it will just fill up in a nice little bath, wouldn't it? Mm. Um, so that's got to be done, but yet more to do, but it's now usable. So like all these works in progress, that is usable. Made out of girders, look at that. A couple of you asked what it weighs, is it heavy? It weighs six kilos, which is quite a lot, but it's, that's a gallon of fuel. 6.2 kilos is a gallon of petrol. So it weighs as much as a gallon of petrol. That's a four gallon tank. So it's like a quarter of a tank of fuel that weighs. It's nothing really. It's irrelevant on a big bike like this. It doesn't make any difference at all. Or a few extra burgers. <laughs> <laughs> for the rider, I'm, I'm not a heavy rider, so there's another point of it. Whether I'm just gonna, the idea of wearing, I'm just gonna use this for a couple of days and just get some corners in. This side's a bit lower because where it has warped one side very slightly, it's all character. It's kind of the word you use for getting it wrong. Um, if it's gonna ground, I'll soon know. I'm gonna get on the ride home. I'm finishing work tomorrow, six till two, so up past two, I should be on the bike. Ride it home, see if I can get this on the ground. If it does ground, I'll know exactly where. So that'll be a case of cutting a hole where it grounds and then bringing that in and welding another place. There's a little bit more to do, but as for now, that's usable. What do you reckon, That's it, cool. Bash-tastic, baby. Beef. And I really don't want to paint it. I'm going to put some sealant on the inside on the welds just to stop them literally rotting out and the thing actually falling apart. Uh, that will that'll keep them, the old panel sealant, but the outside just literally, I think, let the elements do it, don't you, babe? Mm -hmm. I think so. Let it get rusty. Let it get rusty, baby. There we go, that's number two of Bash Plate, or number eight of Project Tiger. Um, so for now, I don't know what's coming next. It's going to be some farkles on the other bikes, but for now, that is it. Thanks for watching. Ride safe. Take it easy. See you next time.